Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a grocery haul for you. So I think I may have went over budget a little bit. However, there was some really great markdowns. Plus I did a little bit of a stock up, which I will explain in a minute. And honestly, I think the amount of food that we have here is going to carry us into October. And I, I actually think that I did stick around the 700 range. I think it's just over a little. So I will make sure to include somewhere here or here the exact amount that I spent. I'll do the math and I'll add it in. But let's get started. Okay, we're going to start over here with the produce and hopefully you can't see the dirty dishes in the sink. But grapes, baby carrots, Potatoes, you saw the dirty dishes. Ah, pretend like you didn't see that. Apples, I got some romaine lettuce and a bacon Caesar salad kit. I love these Caesar kits, they're so good. I got some cherry tomatoes, green onions, broccoli, just iceberg lettuce for different things, some garlic, avocados, Kiwis, I usually don't get them, but my daughter wanted to have some, so kiwis. Oh, I also got fruit punch, <laughs> coffee. But there's always going to be coffee in my grocery hauls. Some whole wheat bread. I picked up some of these pizzas for my kids. I thought these would be good for the weekend but also I'm thinking for Halloween night because my kids really don't eat a ton of like if I make a big dinner on Halloween they are not going to really eat it because they're going to be so excited to go trick-or-treating so I figured I can make two of these and that's going to be perfect for them for Halloween night so that's why I got those now here's all of my yellow sticker stuff I got some of these Denver steaks and they were Three seventy four and five seventeen. We really like these. These are excellent. I kind of like slow cook them in the oven, and they pretty much just fall apart. They're delicious. This was probably one of my favorite things that I found, and it's just chicken breast tenderloins, but they are the no antibiotic, no antibiotics. Biotics? Am I saying that right? Ever? <laughs> and I found a ton, but I didn't. I didn't want to go overboard because everybody likes a good deal, so I didn't want to take them all. But this was $214, 211 226 and 199 So, again, we don't need this much meat for this week, but I definitely wanted to pick those up. That was a good deal. And then we got some boneless beef chuck ribs. So we got two of those, and they were $351 and $370. I just got some ground beef not yellow sticker. They had their Steakums buy one get one free so I got those because we love those with peppers and onions and mushrooms. Some pepperoni. I got these for my kids again. They really enjoyed them. They are just little pepperoni mini pizzas and what I'm gonna do is heat them up in the microwave and then wrap them up really nice for their lunches. So that comes with six mini pizzas. So got those. I also got this. This was on yellow yellow sticker markdown as well and it's Italian style with mozzarella cheese chicken meatballs and it's by that Adele's brand and I've never tried them but I thought they would be interesting to try for a lunch. So I'm going to give those a try. I also got some smoked ham also on markdown for $3.99. And then I picked up some sour cream, spreadable butter for pancakes, a big bag of cheddar cheese, Mexi blend cheese, heavy whipping cream, some whole milk, and two dozen eggs. All right, guys, it was time to replace the giant container of jalapenos. We went through the entire one, so we got another. I also got two cans of pumpkin. They were only a dollar. I thought that was a good deal, so I got two and then a couple of cans of diced tomatoes. Taco shells, ketchup, some pasta for the pesto pasta that I make my kids, brown sugar, rice, 
some just hamburger dill pickles, ranch, barbecue sauce, chili powder, red chili, crushed red peppers, just the little red pepper flakes. Um, we go through a lot of this, so I just went on and picked up the big ones. And then some salt. And then, oh, I'll, I'll show you that one in just a sec. But then here is snacks for my kiddos' lunches. I got the Cheez-It snack mix and the Cheddar Jack. Just some little, uh, I don't know, you know, the little Lance Cheddar Cheese Crackers. Some ramen. Just some junky cookies here. Some tortilla chips and cheddar and sour cream chips. And then some soda. And then we needed some more toilet paper and paper towels. So we picked those up. I also got these little, um, I don't even know what they're called. Re renew, renew, renews it, renews it. Anyway, they're those gel air fresheners because I just, there are certain places that you just want to smell fresh and I don't know. I'm just gonna stick them in those areas, I guess. <laughs> some deodorant for my husband. He needed some more like body wash and he's gonna be doing some traveling soon. So I got him a little toothpaste and some air freshener. Got some pull-ups for my youngest, some more foil wrap, and then we're trying these to see if we can freshen our toilet bowl, I guess. So we picked those up. Now, the other thing that I got was not at Food Line. It was actually at Harris Teeter, and I don't really shop there very often anymore, but they had some really good deals. So, ugh. The unbleached flour was 97 cents, and that's for a five pound bag, and you could only pick up two, so I picked those up. And the reason I picked these up is because with the holidays coming, we like to do a lot of baking. We usually do a, a bunch of like baked goods, and we take them to our neighbors, so when they're 97 cents, I like to go ahead and grab them. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled because I know that they'll go on sale again. And they also put their sugar on sale for that price as well. So when they do, I'm gonna go pick more up. Now the other really good deal they had was for their canned beans, and that was like green beans and then just regular beans, and they were 37 cents a can. So I went on and picked up a bunch of green beans. So I got six of those, and then I got four of the black beans. And then I got one light red kidney and one dark red kidney. So, yep. That is what I got at Harris Teeter. I thought those were good deals. I think for all of this, it was like eight bucks and some change. So I thought that was really good. Okay guys, I'm sitting in my floor. So, that is our grocery haul. And that is it for the month of October. And like I said, I will include the price that I paid for the entire month. I'll put the total, and I know that I went over. I know I went over, but I don't think it is too bad. I think it's still in the 700 range, but I'm not positive. But I will, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna put exactly what I spent. And um, yeah, so I think we did really good, but that meat is going to take us into October. We won't be able, and I actually have some still in the deep freezer as well. So we're doing really well, we still have a lot, We've actually kind of stocked up a little bit, which is good, and I feel pretty good about it. We were still, we are still far under what we normally would spend, and that's just because I've been making everybody eat leftovers. So I think I did good. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that, and I have more videos coming for you this week. I'm super excited. I actually have a Aldi haul coming soon. It's not. There's one thing that's like a food item, but the rest is actually candles and, and a rug. So anyway, I'm gonna show you cute stuff. I'm gonna actually do that and hopefully get it up very soon. So if you wanna go and check out for yourself and hopefully you can score some of the goodies that I found. But anyway, I hope that you enjoy the video and I will see you next time. If you have not subscribed, please go make sure you do that. Make sure you also hit the bell so that you will be notified for future videos, and I will see you next time. Take care, bye.